So let's go ahead and get started. Let's say we're doing a condo inspection. We would go to File on the top left, click New Inspection, and then um, go ahead and hit Yes if you don't want to save. And we would choose Condo, and then click OK. So all of the data in our inspection is organized on the left in the list. We have Rooms, which is every main category in the inspection, such as plumbing, electrical, bath, bedroom. Notice we have more than one bedroom. That's just the default for the template. So let's go ahead and uh, let's say we're starting in the kitchen. Well, let's open that up. So notice the different groups we have inside of the kitchen. These help us organize the content of the inspection in the room so we don't have to have all the items together in one big mass. So we can go ahead and start with the general group, click that tab to open it up, and then choose the first item, window conditions. So in room to room, everything that you want to report about an item goes right into this description box right in the middle. So um, the conditions for the item are taken from the comment library and they're all available in this uh, list on the right. Um, let's say that our windows are perfectly okay and we just want to say that they're fine so we click windows okay and room to room will fill in that content for us into the box so that we don't have to type anything. Now we'll just put a status for that item and click that list and click um, based on what the condition is which it's okay and what that does is that'll put a nice little image next to that item in the report kind of a check mark that shows everything's okay so let's uh, go ahead and go on to the next item door conditions so let's say in this case the kitchen door is difficult to operate we go ahead and click that condition. Room to room fills that in as usual. We can put a status for that item. Um, needs attention. Not really a safety issue and not okay. And then we can put a recommendation. Uh, you don't have to put a recommendation, but um, if that's what you prefer to do, you know, showing your clients which kind of contractor you prefer or you recommend for that kind of problem you can just choose that and we would probably want a general contractor for this kind of issue. Now you may be wondering what would you do if the door has more than one issue? Um, in most cases you'd have to you know type all that content and fit it together make it readable but room to room makes that all very easy for you to do. Just go ahead and click a second or a third item well, let's say the handles are missing. We can click that condition. Um, room to Room automatically adds that to the description box and puts a transition between the two conditions for you. So it's very easy and very powerful. It eliminates any need for you to do any typing at all. And you can change the order that those appear in the description box by uh, unselecting one of them. Now the the condition about the missing handles are, is uh, presented in the box first and then you can click the other one it'll put that afterwards and you can choose more than one item uh, uh, more than two that is this is a kitchen but let's say it was a garage and we we're talking about whether the door was fire rated and it's not fire rated so we can click that as well now we have three conditions and room to room put all that together and you can even keep going beyond that if you want to put a fourth item um, notice room to room puts a finally item if you have four or more items room to room will put that in there for you so that it sounds and reads like a normal you know handwritten paragraph now let's say we have an unusual situation uh, let's say the tiles on the floor are flipped over and nothing in your comment library really addresses that issue. It's kind of unusual. So 
what you would do in this case is you would simply type it in just kind of shorthand um, you'll worry about that later and then you flag that and that will cause room to room to alert you when you try to export a PDF file and it'll let you know that you haven't finished formatting that and typing it into a full sentence or paragraph so um, here's an example of that if you go to file export PDF it tells you about any flagged items and where you can find that item uh, under kitchen general floor conditions and you can still export if you want but of course you'd want to fix that formatting because that's going to go in the final report uh, also if you wanted to remember to add that to your comment library you can give yourself a note here and that will never go into the final report it's just for your own use so why don't we work on adding a picture to our report let's click on sinks and um, with the picture that I have for this example there's a pipe with some staining on it so let's click on that and needs attention and this little button down here the picture frame is how you add a picture to the report and here is our picture editor so on the top left we have all the tools that we can use I'll give you a quick uh, demo of each one free draw lets you do whatever you want you know draw any kind of shape it'll keep that shape probably won't use this very often but it might be useful sometimes let's click undo down here you can also hit redo uh, clear will remove everything on the picture if you have more than one item drawn so the second tool is the line tool you draw between two points and it will create a straight line it's useful for marking distances or showing whether something is straight or not I, I use that pretty often too and then we have the, the arrow tool it just creates an arrow instead of a line very useful you need to point out a particular part of the picture you could use an arrow for this kind of picture um, to show where the staining is um, but a circle might be better we'll get to that and here's the circle tool simply drag between two points and release your mouse button and it will create a circle that spans the two points and um, you probably want it a little bit smaller than that but that's the basic idea right there and a filled box is something you probably won't use very often so we'll just skip over that uh, you can play around with it if you want so the text tool is very useful click anywhere and then start typing now if you wanted a background behind that you can undo that uncheck the transparent box and then retype your text room to room will automatically create a background for that text that does not clash with the font color. I'll show you what I mean if you change the color of the text. Type that. It will create a background that is readable. So it's very useful and if your picture is very busy and there's nowhere to put text you can uncheck the transparent box. Let's undo that and then let's create a circle around that staining we'll make it red so it's very clear and that's it for this picture it's basically ready for the report make sure you hit save changes now what if you wanted to add a new room or a new group or item to your inspection as you can see you have these buttons on the top left and they're pretty easy to use let's say you were in one of the bedrooms and there are these built-in cabinets into the wall 
and since they're built in you probably want to include them in your inspection so uh, one way you could do that is uh, as you can see the kitchen room has a counters group and under that is cabinet conditions so what you could do is actually go to the general section of that bedroom click on add item click from library navigate to kitchen counters cabinet conditions click OK that will be added to the room and you have all of the conditions for the cabinets you can hit OK if they're OK or whatever else you need to and that's probably the easiest way you can do that now there's another way you can add that item to your uh, bedroom and it's just um, probably something you wouldn't normally use but sometimes you might use it let's delete that cabinet conditions item we'll go back select the general and click add item uh, blank item we'll give it a title cabinet conditions and we don't have any uh, library content here because it's a blank item so you can go over here and click link to library kitchen um, counters cabinet conditions so that's the other way you can add an item and you can also do the same for groups or rooms a group can be blank or from the library a room can be blank or from one of the ones in your library so very powerful and easy to add new content to your inspection you may be wondering how to add a new unit to your inspection just go to report and enable multi-unit inspection you'll notice the add unit button appears now normally you wouldn't add a unit manually you'd want to have a template and if you're doing a duplex or a fourplex you have all of those added already with all the rooms underneath um, but it's there in case you need it so um, I'll just show you real quickly and we'll go new inspection and the duplex template is already built into the software so as you can see we have the inspection divided into three units a normal house would just have one unit um, but it's a duplex so we have unit one unit two and then general which contains um, like the roof and the exterior parts of the house that both units share finally I'll show you how to put the finishing touches on your inspection report let's click on the report menu and click edit cover page now the top section here contains your business info and whatever you enter here if you click save company and legal information as default which is uh, checked already it will save that info for future inspections so you don't have to retype it each time and the legal info is at the bottom here the client info will always be different so it's blank when you open it up for the first time and you put in the house you just inspected in the client uh, um, client name and then down here is the cover photo just click load image and you can choose the photo you want you can't edit it or draw on it like with other pictures but you usually don't need to and with that you're done with the cover page click OK secondly we're going to add uh, the information for the inspection information page you can see what that looks like by going to r2rsoftware.com and clicking on the sample report that'll show you um, what that looks like to edit that page you go to report edit inspection info and um, you have basic info about the house here you can go to other sections of this page and you can see we're on one of three you click the right arrow we've got two of three this is the clients info and then general price and weather conditions it's very easy to type in this editor um, 
let's say we had our address here you can put you click the content box actually put whatever you want then you'd hit hit tab on the keyboard it'll automatically go to the next item let's say it's 1500 square feet let's say it's built in 1980 I'm just hitting tab it's very quick and easy um, let's say there are two bathrooms three bedrooms now when I hit tab here we're in section one it will automatically fill that in and go to section two and you can keep typing so we have our client name a phone number and uh, whatever email you have hit tab go to the final section and I won't fill that in uh, I think you get the idea but it works pretty easily and it's very quick if you need to add a new section or delete one navigate to the one you want to delete and click delete or add a new section like this now we have section 404 you can give it a new title um, I'll just go ahead and delete that again it'll make sure you want to delete that also if you wanted to move an item up or down in a section click on that item hit the arrows and you can also add new items or delete an item and just like with the cover page if you click on save as default then when you close this window whatever uh, structure you have here will be saved for future inspections the content will be blank but if you added a new section or you renamed any of this it will save that for future inspections so normally you just leave that checked and let's click OK now I'll just show you a couple of other editors for your report um, that will affect the way the final report looks click on the report menu and click on edit disclaimer page this is basic legal information for your report and it will stay the same on every inspection um, depending on what you type here you can go from section to section using the arrows and you can add or delete a section easily and there is also uh, I'll type some random letters here a uh, spell checker so you don't have to worry about uh, typos so we'll click OK on that and then go to report set company logo like the disclaimer page once you set a logo here it will be the same on every report until you change it so click load image and it will pop up a file loading window and then click OK if you want to change the size of the pictures in the PDF file that you will create go to report PDF settings and uh, small is probably recommended it allows your pictures to stack side by side normally it does depend on the way your camera takes pictures but normally small will work well if you want them a little bit bigger and you use less pictures than most inspectors you could use normal um, large is, is pretty pretty big so um, you want to limit the number of pictures in your report if you use large because it will increase the file size So that's it for our first video tutorial on how to use Room to Room Home Inspection software. Be sure to check out our other videos and I wish you the very best on your home inspections.